What's up, Internet family? Dan here from DanceTube.tv, and today we are checking out the brand new Canon M50, which is a mirrorless camera from Canon that includes a 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens, and it can shoot in 4K. Initially, I'd like to thank Ian from Aussie Tech for letting me test out the Canon M50. He actually picked this up from Harvey Norman Capella Bar, and he got a really good deal on an SD card and a few other accessories. So if you're in the area, check out Harvey Norman Capella Bar. And also thank you so much to Ian from Aussie Tech. I will have a link in the description below to check out his channel. But the Canon M50 is a relatively cheap camera that comes with a kit lens. It's a mirrorless camera with a mic option as well, so you can plug Plug in external microphones and improve the audio, and this has been deemed a vlogging camera. But there are a few things that limit you from vlogging in 4K. You can shoot in 4K at 25 frames per second, but when you do that, you will notice there is a massive crop factor. So you can't use this as a vlogging camera if you want to shoot in 4K. The dual pixel autofocus is also another thing that's limited in the 4K option. You don't get that dual pixel technology, you just get a dumbed down version of the auto focus and I also noticed that the stabilization wasn't as top-notch in 4k so to be honest with you I think you would be using this camera to shoot external shots or b-roll you know just basic background shots in the 4k and then you'd probably want to swap to 1080p if you wanted to use this as a vlogging option and in 1080p you can actually shoot at 60 frames per second and there's also a slow-mo option so you can shoot in HD or 720p at 120 frames per second the camera also weighs absolutely nothing it's only 387 grams for the body, the battery, and the SD card, so that's excluding the lens, but this kit lens weighs nothing as well, so it's a really small kit that honestly weighs nothing but feels extremely sturdy. It also has the swivel out screen so you can flip it out to the side, you can rotate it so if you're vlogging you can see yourself or you can flip it back if you're filming a subject. You have all those options there and this is something that I think a lot of these cameras need. I hate being limited to just the screen at the back of the camera. A lot of people use these for vlogging or just to set up if they're an individual cinematographer or filmmaker. So when I'm setting up a lot of my dance tube videos I need to see what I'm doing so it's really handy to have that swivel screen and then on top of that like I mentioned they have the microphone input which is really handy so you can add in an external microphone and this system here actually uses an APS-C sensor for the image sensor and to be honest with you I've been really happy with the image overall it's quite a nice color Canon seem to do a really good job with their color science and the performance overall of this camera seems to be really decent I also really loved the touch screen it was extremely responsive and it's nice to have a menu system that can be navigated with a physical button or just with your finger on a touchscreen. Hey guys Dan here from dancetube.tv and today we're checking out the Canon M50. We're shooting in 1080p right now 30 frames per second with the stabilization and the focus on my face. So this is just a potential vlogging alternative. You can plug in a mic as well so yeah this is just the mic from the onboard camera though but a very cool setup. And the camera itself is actually cram-packed full of different features and options. Like I mentioned, I was really happy with the touchscreen. This is a 3-inch touchscreen, um, and they say it has approximately 1 million dots. So I believe that's to do with how sensitive the touchscreen is. The max ISO speed is 25,600, but they say that you can expand it to 51,200. This camera also offers an electric viewfinder if you don't want to use the LCD monitor, but I found the viewfinder quite awkward in sunlight and it's quite an awkward kind of angle to get on um, and also the viewfinder itself is relatively small so for someone like me with like a wide head I guess it was just really weird um, but overall the viewfinder did its job um, but it's definitely not the best viewfinder I've used. The M50 also offers Wi-Fi and NFC so you can constantly connect it to your mobile device and share instantly with your phone and then share it with the world on social media and you can actually pair your phone and camera for the ultimate travel selfie. So with Bluetooth connectivity you can use your smartphone as a remote control meaning that you can get in the frame and remotely capture the perfect selfie in that unique location. So overall it's a really cool package, a really cool travel package, a good vlogging package, and I love the fact that such a small mirrorless camera can offer 4K 
and a microphone input as well. So a really cool camera. There were those downsides about shooting in 4K like I mentioned early on, but it is still a viable option to use this as a 1080p vlogging camera. I also was impressed with the dual sensing image stabilization. So the kit lens offers stabilization as well as the body on the camera itself. So they're referring to this as a shake and vibration proof system which will ensure super smooth shots so yeah it's not as good as a gimbal or a system that's designed to keep your images extremely smooth but it does a really good job for a tiny mirrorless camera anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you want to check this out then i will have a link in the description below to check this out on amazon it's 699 dollars and that's including this 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens anyway thank you so much for watching make sure to have a splendid day leave a comment below letting me know what you think of the m50 or let me know what camera you're using. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and peace out.